Starting a centrifugal pump without priming is probably the fastest way to destroy it. Therefore, it is important to know what to do. Hi, Jos here. In this video, we take a closer look at pump priming. We have the following subjects for you. We start with what is the definition of priming, why is priming that important and how to do priming. I start with the definition. Centrifugal pumps require priming before startup. Priming fills the suction line and the pump casing with liquid while venting the air out of the pump. There are also self-priming pumps which we discussed in another video. Why is priming important? Priming is important for multiple reasons. The centrifugal pump isn't able to function without a liquid because it's not meant to handle a gas. The second reason is the mechanical seal needs cooling to prevent it from overheating. Otherwise, the seal will be destroyed in a matter of minutes. You can clearly see that the seal faces scratched each other. Normally, a small fluid film prevents this from happening. How to do the priming? If your pump has a suction line with a foot valve in it, priming consists of filling the suction line with liquid while venting the air out of the pump casing. In other cases, you need a vacuum pump or ejector. More information can be found in the manual. This manual says that the pump casing should be completely filled with liquid, as you can see in this picture. Now you know that the priming of the pump prior to startup is very important. Therefore, be sure to double check if this is the case. If you want to learn more, we have a great Pump System Basics e-learning course for you where we cover all the basics that you need to know to professionally work with pumps. If you need more information about this course and our other courses, you can find them on our website. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I hope to see you next time. Bye!